Good morning and welcome to Planner Craft. Sorry that we're running a little bit late. Um, hopefully we should be okay to good to go for um, stream today. So Ian's just doing the showing out now. So I thought I would hop on. Here's AP. Just to quickly go through what we're going to be needing today. So I'm going to be doing a little bit of watercolouring, a bit of ink blending and some work with some intense pencils. And we might even get round to some alcohol too, but that's probably going to be this afternoon. Okay, so I'm going to move these out of my way for a minute. And these have got to turn the sound down on the telly. Just press the move button. It's, it's not remote. Oh, that's why. So just press it on the keyboard. <laughs> oh dear. Nancy's fault. Nancy was playing with Spotify yesterday. So I've done. Zena said good morning. Morning, Zena. I will turn the auto comments off in a moment. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll get there. So I've done a little bit of stamping for this morning. So I've done two ladies from Prima. This one's Natalie. Nice and easy for me to remember. Okay, I have chocolate brocks, butterfly tree stamp, and creative expressions toadstool stamp. So I'm going to start off by trying to do a bit of masking. And that's so that we don't have to worry too much about when we're actually painting. So I'm just making sure that that's coming out nicely. Don't want to pump it too much if you don't have to. Oh, if you're finding that it is starting to struggle to come out, you can do a little. It's been a while since I've used this one, so it just needs to. So it says you're just watching today, working on some stuff on canvas. Okay. So it's a monotone masking pen I'm using. I'm sure Ian will pop up the details eventually. Looks quite scary because it comes out this lovely bright blue. And what I'll do once I've done this is I'll set this to one side to dry while we work on our ladies. So if you don't have the masking pen, you can always just go and stamp some ladies next. Give me the better angle, have a look and see. Let's have a look. Ian's man in the comments today, so if you do have any questions about anything that I do, please do ask. I don't mind repeating or going over things. We have Nuala watching as well. Hi Nuala. I might probably haven't pronounced that right either, so just tell me off. I'm sure it's Nuala, not mm. There we go. So every morning, try to pay for the class on Saturday, but it comes up with an error. Any ideas, please? Oh, um, no, but we can always do it out side of that actual item couldn't we and do it that way yeah i can do it manually sarah so um i'll have a look at it and i'll um i was going to say check on my phone but yeah we haven't had any transactions come through that way have we so yeah. it could be that there's an issue with the link Changed the um, website as well, haven't we? This morning. Yeah. So, um, if you saw that there was a, a post that went up at the weekend, which I had put, so um, you could only get it if you accessed it through our membership. I've taken that off and just put buy me a coffee instead. It's just easier and less confusing. So, just on my toad store, I'm just going to do the windows too. A 
just to help me try and keep that white one. Yeah, I'll um, drop you a private message after the, uh, the live. Also do the same just with these leaves when it's going out over the sky. Probably won't line up exactly, but that's close enough. You do have quite a big tip on this one. So if you do want to get into detail, you can just use a ruling pen and just some normal masking fluid. But this one's quite a good, handy little pen to take out and about as well, but when we do get out to go out painting again. I'm just going to set that to dry. So now if I bring in my ladies and I'm going to do a little bit of work with the background on these. So I thought later on what we could do is we could concentrate on the different scanning functions on the scanning cup. So I'm going to be doing a bit on the um, background scanning and also on the direct cutting. I've already cut uh, a mask for each of my ladies and I've just used the post-it note tape again. Where's the tape store from now? Creative Expressions. Oh, there you go. So sorry, Mr. Um, I'll just place this in my wall. So as usual with your mask, you want to cut it just inside your, your black line to prevent the halo going round. Uh, and just for Sarah Lou, it is the Willoughby Woods Collection Toadstool Penthouse. So with our mask pressed down, I'm going to start off with... go for this one. So I thought this looked like quite a fun image and it made me think a bit, a bit of the 80s, a bit different. So I thought I'd go a bit funky colours with it. So I have this great guitar stencil and it has lots of hidden little bits like a hidden treble clef. Clever. Very, very clever. So I'm just working out which angle is best to get most detail. Okay. When you're happy, if you can, if you can see, you want to apply a bit of tape. So, it's okay, I've got some here. <laughs> Use it what's uh, hanging around on the, the desk. Mm, you can have it on there anyway. Thank you. If you need a bit more. I go straight to the blue. I'm going to go to the pink first. So what's the pink? The pink is picked raspberry, distress oxide. You want to just go careful that you don't go over your edge here. This is quite a big brush to be doing this with, but we're going to come back in and use it for the background in a minute. So 
So the card that I'm using is a um, stamping card. So this will take the blending quite well. It's a stamping card, is it? It's Kanban's as well. It's, it's old. Very old. Getting through the stash now. <laughs> so now I'm taking a smaller brush and I'm going into Blueprint Sketch Distress Oxide for this one. And you'll see that it starts to lift off the remaining colour on your stencil as well, so it blends in your colours. So what we're aiming for eventually is that you get like a, a nice purpley colour. Morning Sandra, uh, we got our brushes off um, Amazon, um, if you, is there still a link to our Amazon store? Yes, there's, um, uh, there is a link on the group for the Amazon store. Okay, so if you go on the group there's a link to the um, our Amazon store and there is a link there to a set of brushes that you can get, which are the same ones as these. They haven't got the rose gold ones in stock, I don't believe. I am um, last time I checked, they just had the black. Ten pound, are they? A bit more? I can't remember. They're just under ten pound. Yeah, just under ten pound. And you get a, a a nice set of them, so you can get all the detail ones as well, and the kind of eyeliner ones, as I call them, as well as your your main paddle brushes. So I've just taken my stencil off. And now we can go back to our pink and we can start to do something a little bit funky in this background. So I'm not going to say it like we'll do a, a gradient for this, it needs to be something a bit different because it's supposed to be she's quite jazzy. And let's go over here and we'll go this way. Oh yes, yes, that's one of the reasons why I like them so much. They're also a lot easier to keep clean. So this is just a bamboo sheet. It's been well used and abused. You can wash it, rewash it, and just go time and time again. It's brilliant. And you can get those from Wilco's. <laughs> so just a little squirt of water and just run your brush through it and that takes all the ink off. And we can change colour. So I'm going to the squeeze lemonade now. you on the top one but not on the close up. <laughs> oh dear. So let's go back to the yellow again. A little bit down here. Smudging that bit but it doesn't matter at this stage. It is background after all. And if you want to tidy it up after you can always go back to your centre and just pop over another layer. I'm just going to pop a little bit of the peacock just there by the foot. No one just here. Because it's a darker colour you don't need to <laughs> what? So just a small cup of today. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. 
Ever. Go forever. Mm. Okay. Yeah, because you've got the bottom. In which case, then I'll put the inks this side just to make my life a bit easier so I have a bit That's more room. Yeah. There we go. So, it's going to go back over my stencil just because I've lost a bit of the vibrancy of that colour in places. So, I just want to put that back up. Um, so I'm just going to go back to my blueprint sketch. This is yours, you don't like a builder's brief nice and strong. <laughs> nope, nope. I like my tea nice and like milky. Usually cold by the time I get it. <laughs> cold. Yeah. Okay, so I'm just gonna go from the pink. Now, distress oxides um, have a, a tendency more to the paint side of the things, which is great for doing techniques like this. So you can layer colour, whereas the normal distress inks tend to just multiply. So once the colour's gone on there, it's not going to get any lighter. Okay. my stencil before I go too far. So again we can use the bamboo cloth for that. This is you, not nice. <laughs> <laughs> also has two sugars in it. It does. I would say to get me going in the morning but I haven't even had a chance to drink it yet so can't really say that. Which is cool. Now you will have little bits in there, and if you want to, you can trim your mask. I just didn't want to do that this morning because we were running out of time as it was between everything. <laughs> so let's think. I'm going to go with. That way, touch. No, that's okay. What? So I was going to say that way to put your right. Oh, sorry. if you keep it within. Oh, can I? Hang on, let me do me tape. Keep it within thirteen. Tell me off now if I, if I don't get it. Line. So I'm just going to go with a watercolour brush and just dampen it slightly. Zena likes it. <laughs> then I have a um, splodge mat, so that's handy for using as a palette as well. Show your brush. I have my brush. I have water. <laughs> so I'm going to put a little bit of each colour on my palette. If you have the re you can use them for this also. You don't have to squidge it out of your pad then. So I'm 
I'm just going to set that off screen, but you'll know it's there. So just to tidy up in here, I'm going to go to the yellow. And it won't match exactly, but be close enough to just do the suggestion of it continuing. And then we've got sort of yellow pink in there, so I'm going to pull out a bit of the yellow and a tiny bit of the pink, just to tint the colour slightly. A bit more pink, being overly cautious there. <laughs> So now we're looking at doing her um, clothes first, I think, then skin after. So let's go with a bit more water and I'm going to go, be brave and go into the pink. going to go all over to start with and then I can come back with some more concentrated colour to do the shading. underneath the ruffles pale pink dabbing with my head in the way <laughs> no, it's, it's quite a good view, that side one even if you do so say so <laughs> yourself then back into a darker pink Let us know if you can see us and hear us okay. You could just remind me it's refreshing. It's just me. It's just you. I see, can't get the computers, can we? So, now I'm going to pull out a bit of the picked raspberry and a bit of the blueprint sketch so we get the purple. Just to tie in up here, I'm going to put a bit more purple around there. So then we can go back into our blueprint sketch and we can just drop just blueprint sketch into the shadow and same in here. I'm just going to put a little tiny bit just down that edge there. Okay. 
Okay, so far so good. So she's definitely going all that eighties because I think it's just going to be weird colours. I'm going back to the blueprint sketch to do my shadow. So we'll start with because you might water on your brush, so I'm quite subtle. And I'm just literally just touching the very edge just to give it that rounded form. It's gonna go. This edge again, and a bit just there. There we go. Just tidy that bit up. Now, if we blot our paintbrush dry, every time I think we've got a magnet for the floor. I think. Just gonna get them with a bit. It's a neat um, blueprint sketch. I'm just going to do the same work along this edge here. Okay. So, let's go green boots because we can. Thank you for a green footprint. <laughs> oh dear. Definitely channeling the ring of eighties. We got to know we're going for something a bit more traditional with the next one. <laughs> I know, I like the funky one. This is just the blueprint sketch on its own. With quite a bit of water. Fascinating. I'm just <laughs> a bit more of the blueprint sketch just so we've got a bit of shading going on. And once it's dry, we can always come back and have another layer if we want to. Hmm. Hair. Right. 
let's go for all that Hazy's pink hair with we on. <laughs> so into our picked raspberry and I've dotted my brush off so it should be fairly strong. Yawn. Not boring. No, I didn't say you were, I'm just tired. Colour or not skin colour, that is the question. So I've added a tiny bit of that um, picked raspberry to the remainder of my squeeze lemonade, and we'll see how we go. It's not bad, not bad. No, it's just I spend too much time doing not much and it's just making me more tired than if I do what I normally do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're getting tired, aren't you, easily? Yeah. Mm. Have you taken your tablet today? Not today. That won't be helping. I took it yesterday and the day before. Yeah, and it won't do you any good in the bottle, will it? I'll take it after. I should be getting your legs smacked. Mm. Probably have a few people to hide in yeah, this. Sorry, yeah. <laughs> You'll be able to smack my legs from Okay, so I'm just going to pull it quick clean with a bamboo cloth. Just in case I decide I need to use it for uh, its intended purpose as a blending. I decide to. And if I go back to my lady stamps, I'll mask up for this one too. Okay, it's 11 o'clock, you know what that means. Let's all go bark bang doors. <laughs> so it's all full blast. <laughs> so with this one, I'm going to work some of my images off to the side. The thing is, you know, so she tends to drop off for around three for an hour every day. I don't tend to sleep in the day, do I? I'm just no. lethargic more than anything. Hmm? Yeah, it's called not taking your iron tablets. They're not iron tablets. They are. Oh, I can't see. Well, same difference. 
What do you do with iron on top? Yeah. Doctor suspect I'm pregnant. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> acid in my eyes. Right, so this time I'm going to go a bit more classic and I'm going to be working with the Distress Ink right on the other side for this one. I'm using a nice big paddle brush and I might just have to bring me and the end again. It's been a bit too subtle that. Uh, mind you, it's not doing bad for its age. Was it we worked out it was the other day? 20, 20 years old was it? Always just lift it and just check it on the coverage. Okay. So then we can actually tile this one. So if we go maybe there, that should be enough. Technical way of checking that. I'm going to bring in these are the Pergamano sticky pencils and I'm going to go for this nice swirly one and I'm going to go back there now how sticky these still are Probably about the same age as a distress pad. <laughs> yeah, the sticks start to go bless them. Sticking back to your fingers. Yeah, sticking back to me than it is to the paper. But we'll hold it there and we'll, we'll go carefully with it. I'm just going to go kind of all over it so we get like a, a panel in the same antique linen. And just because my finger was there I'll brush it this way too. Okay. Then I'm gonna bring in my brush corduroy. And I'm gonna grab one of the little detail brushes. So that I 
can actually work into places in the stencil. So these are useful for if you want to do like uh, multicolor stenciling like this, or if you've got really detailed images that you want to ink blend with. To measure a bit more of the brush corduroy and I'm going to go underneath the feet so she doesn't look like she's floating. Okay, so again, you could have cut up the mask, but for this one again, it's just a case of, I'll just... A bit more. And you can always just tap it off on your blending mat. You can just then come in with the light coverage and you can always pick a bit more of the mat and just blend it in like so. So now for this one I'm going to do a bit of watercolour. You don't have to have expensive watercolours, and you don't even have to have as many colours as I have. You can just get over the uh, standard 12 if you wish. So I'm just going to pick up a tiny bit of that orange. You should say that the images were. Um, Stamped with uh, Jane Davenport Squid Ink in black. So they'll take pretty much anything I throw at them. What's the pack you use for the paints? The RTs, isn't it? Yeah, the RTs is 36. I think they're back in stock now. because we don't want it to dry too dark. Just put a bit more there. there. Just so she doesn't get any white patches in the hair. Nobody wants that. We look like we've been painting the ceiling. <laughs> so I'm just going to go back into the orange and do a little line of it just at the base of her skirt and another one just at the side of her leg and just down here at her toe as well. So that's to give the feeling that they're crossing over. And then on this leg here, we'll just blend that colour downwards to say it's behind. And then 
and just give it a bit underneath the sleeves. And I think I'm happy with that. So, next. I'm going to go for her belt, I think. Slightly darker shade. I'm going to draw it into our still wet paint. It's tricky keeping it wet enough at the moment because it's so hot. There we go. And a little tiny bit just in that gap there. If need be. We can always go back to a lighter brown. Just gonna block my brush a bit because I don't want it too wet. And then we can blend that back out. Jen says, wow, Natalie, you're, you're one talented lady. Are you self-taught? Um, yes and no. <laughs> um, I used to craft a lot with my mum, who I believe is watching. Hi, mum. Um, then, well, actually, no, it's not then. I used to draw a lot with my mum. Then I went to art college and did graphic design. Then at the end of that, which would have been 98, 99, was when we actually first got our first stamp. So I came to crafting sort of just as I was going to uni. But I'd, by that point I'd already done fashion and textiles is where I originally started it art college and uh, yeah that didn't last very long <laughs> I was doing graphics by the end of the first year <laughs> not because I don't like fashion as you can tell but so you says your teeth getting cold yeah the words new <laughs> as I said that's normal <laughs> at least I'm not dunking my brush in it <laughs> give it time <laughs> okay. So what time are we on? If we don't get around to the other two sheets, I'll do those this afternoon because it'll give the uh, masking fluid plenty of time to uh, dry. I would I do it that way. Just finish that one then. Do those two later. Yeah. I'm just going to go into the dark brown now and go back into our brown area.
white dress? Huh? Maybe with a white dress. I think I might leave her with a white dress. But it does make it pop a bit. Because it's white and stands out. Yeah. I leave her with white hair too. <laughs> no, you can paint her hair. Just in here. And we can get the top brown. Going back with just a, a clean damp brush just to blend it all in. So I'm going to do a hair and let that dry for a bit because I have plans. Yeah. <laughs> oh dear. Dum dum dum. <laughs> message? Oh. <laughs> I was that in case it was Mom saying, we've lost you. That's more than just machine tech. Do the skirt first and then do the body second. So I've popped on my stencil and just to help me out a bit. So I'm gonna pop on a bit of masking just where I don't want the ink to go. over those tiny bits on the two board. And I'm going to go bring my distress ink back in. So I've gone back to my antique linen. Because we're suggesting the shape of the form, we 
going to want to do it so it's at least kind of looking a bit cylindrical. So let's get a bit more ink on that. There we go. I'm going to work from off my sheet and onto my stencil. There we go, one pattern skirt. And if you want to, and you can get a detailed section, you can do the same for her top. So, what I'm going to do is actually use the center of my favour, and then all I have to do is just mask one side of her there. go back to the antique linen again and a little bit of the brush calls away just this is where it gets a bit tricky just because of that edge just there and a bit just on this side here there we go and we can go ta da <laughs> okay, so in the meantime, our masking fluid is dried and we, that's ready to go. So we'll leave that till later. Yeah. So carry on this afternoon? Yep. So this afternoon I'm going to finish off colouring these, then I'm going to make um, some sentiments and some shadows, cut these into shapes ready for my card and then off screen I'll do them all together and put them up on the blog and on the group. Cool. So we'll be back at two. Um, don't forget Lou's just started at 12, I've not seen a notification saying she's just started. She might not be today. So she might not be today if she's um, doing bits of her chanda. Um, Pete's on at half twelve with his giveaway, and then we'll be back to I think um, Leslie's also on at half past one today as well with chocolate baroque. Yeah. Uh, well, all stay safe. Have a uh, nice afternoon or evening, depending where you are, and we will see you all a little bit later. Bye for now.